Hey everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be an Esborn haul. So recently Esborn released some fall titles, I think is what they called it, even though we're summer. Yes, fall titles, that's what they call them. They released new fall titles. So of course, I had to place an order. I'm gonna share it with you guys today. The first thing that I grabbed was all of the new games that they had because I have to own them all. So we have the dinosaur matching game, the bug matching game, and the under the sea matching game. And I have to say, I was really, really impressed with the quality. It has those really thick boards and cards. It reminds me of Eboo quality of games. If you are familiar with games, you probably know about Eboo. So they are really, really nice quality. And they have enough things to do, um, like memory and bingo. And there's little books. Here, let me show you really quick. Because of course you guys know I opened the games and jumped right into seeing those. But there's little books that have more information about all of the animals too. And then ways to play. And because it is our year of art, I had to get the year of art. It just seems so fitting that since art was our one thing this year that I could get this for the year of art. It has 365 art activities. There's just something different every day. So I thought that would be a really great addition to our year. The Amazing Discoveries of 100 Brilliant Scientists. The Unicorn Puzzle Pad. It has like these tear off sheets and it's just like word searches and find the difference and crossword puzzles. So just a really fun thing for car school if we are ever able to get back in the car. You guys, I miss car school videos just in case you're wondering. I also went ahead and got these just because I really wanted them and I was scared Osborne might do away with them. Um, not necessarily because we're at this point in our homeschool yet, but the Osborne Illustrated Dictionary of Math and then the Osborne Illustrated Dictionary of Science. And this is all of the um, science ones put into one. But I know I'm going to want these later on, so I just wanted to go ahead and have them. I also got all of the So You Think Dinosaur series. So, so You Think You Know About Stegosaurus. So You Think You Know About Triceratops. So You Think You Know About Tyrannosaurus Rex. And So You Think You Know About Velociraptor. These are chapter books with just tons of information. See Inside the Oceans. I was probably the most excited for this one, you guys. We love the Look Inside and the See Inside books. Sorry, that was really bright. And I was thrilled that they came out with the older version in Oceans. Dogs in Space. This is the amazing true story of Belka and Strelka. See Inside Germs, so this is another one that's for a little bit older, and it is amazing because it goes through all of the germs, and you get like all these really fun flaps where you can look inside and see more. Lift the Flat Biology. You have all that wonderful biology and then the list of flaps as well to make it more fun. And a lift the flap grammar and punctuation. I was so excited about this, you guys. It looks like it has a lot um, to do. I don't remember which of the Osborne halls it was in. They have a small grammar and punctuation workbook that's um it looks like this kind of lines up with. So I think there would be a great combination. The fold out dinosaur timeline, I was like literally 
over the moon excited. The solar system fold-out timeline is the only one that they've ever had and it is probably one of my favorite because it just folds out like I think it's like six foot long and it's double sided and this one is just as cool and dinosaurs. The big book of general knowledge. I love these big books. I'm really not sure how we didn't already own this one. And then the Usborne Complete Book of the Human Body, which is just one of their really awesome internet linked books. Amazing Women, Over 100 Lives to Inspire You. The Planet Earth Mazes. I love their like maze books like this because they are big and they're fun. And they normally always have like little things up here that talk about kind of what you're looking at. So this one says, let's see here, let's find one. Um, extreme conditions are common in some places and people have to be prepared so daily life can continue. Find a route for the snow truck to clear every road in his town and return to the depot without going anywhere twice. So it kind of always gives you like just a little tidbit of a fact while you're doing it. And I really like that. Let's see. The world of the microscope. We recently got a really awesome microscope and microscope kit from Home Science Tools. That haul will be coming soon. Um, and so I thought this would be a really, really fun thing to have a little bit more to offer her as far as, you know, kind of what we're looking at and how it works. The Unhurry Magic Painting Book. I love these magic painting books. You only need water. And they are always these beautiful pages. And I thought this one would be just so much fun for relaxation. Let's see. We got the Hotel Flamingo um, book series. It looks like there is four. So Hotel Flamingo, Holiday Heat Wave, Carnival Caper and Fabulous Feast. And I love that there is a little bit of pink color in them. Emily loves anything that has a little bit of color. You guys, I just put those backwards. Okay. The Travels of Armin World Tour. Emily was like, I mean, that's a big book. I have to read that. But it's actually like four books in one. Um, and I thought that since we would be doing the uh, Traveling the World, this would be kind of a fun book for her to read. The Usborne Beginners Otters. You guys, if you have been around here, you know that these beginners are some of my absolute favorite Usborne books. Not only are they affordable and hardback, they are tons of, they're just like filled with tons of information and they're internet linked. So they're like these little bite-sized pieces. Emily loves them. She can read them independently now. And then in the back, you can go to the little internet link. And there's always extra things to do there as well. It's almost like a little mini unit study. I love these. Look inside wild weather. Emily was so excited. This one arrived and we are literally tracking a hurricane as we speak. So that was kind of fun. The number puzzles and games book. I, I just love any of these like little game books that they have. The elves and the shoemaker. These peek inside the fairy tale books. Um, I will always keep them. They are absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how well it picks up on camera, but they just have these intricate little cutouts that are just so beautiful. And the stories are gorgeous. Like, I mean, look at that. They're just awesome. I want to save them for my grandkids one day. So that completes the um, collection so far. All right, let's see. The Alphabet of Peculiar Creatures is one of Emily's picks. She thought it was funny because they have like really picked out peculiar creatures for every letter and then they have a few little facts about them.
The Unhurry Book. So it says this book is all about taking a little time to breathe, focus, and be calm. Be Positive, an activity book for young people who want to feel more self-confident. Um, this is really just more because Emily is a perfectionist and I thought it could work for that as well. And I love this entire series from Usborne. We have quite a few of the other ones. They're just really great. So the Usborne Complete Book of Art Ideas. Again, I know that we are not going to get to all of these, but I thought since it was our year of art, it would be great to have, you know, some extra art ideas laying around for when we just you know, didn't have any. Usborne Getting Started with Science. I'm going to be honest, when I looked through this, you guys, I was a little sad that I didn't have this in like kindergarten or first grade because I literally think this could be your science for the entire year. It covers so much. It has um, being a scientist and sorting things and plants, animals, habitats, humans, materials, light, sound, forces, electricity, weather, seasons, day and night, years and months, living on a planet, and more. So seriously, like kindergarten, first grade, this could be all you need for science. Uh, I got the world religion which again is just one of those awesome encyclopedias that's internet linked from Usborne. The Usborne Introduction to Genes and DNA. I just love all these internet linked encyclopedias. Um, and then I also grabbed these storybook sets from them. So this is the beginner set. And then I also got the developing reader set. as well as the confident reader set. I love that these come with the audio as well and activities and that we could start with the beginners and move on to developing and then confident and just kind of build those skills throughout the year. And they were like 10 or 12 in the bundle. So it was a great price. So that is everything. That is my new release Osborne Hall. And I am now surrounded in books and have no idea where I'm going to put these.